Hey everybody, Siki here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. Now, I'm always excited to film, but this time around, I am a little nervous about this video, okay? And this is more of like a talking video. This is like, you know, you getting to know me a little bit better, okay? So I have my little water here. I'm gonna need that, because I'm talking. I just filmed another video too, and I talked about my hair, which I will have in the description box below, and the nails, and my shirt. This is from my t-shirt line, so all that stuff will be in the description box. So I know that you saw the title, right? And it said story time. Honestly, I don't really watch a whole lot of story time videos, nor did I think that I would ever do a story time video, okay? Like, it was never in the plans. However, I was talking to one of the minis the other day about like college and just making serious decisions in life. And, you know, I thought about it and I felt compelled to do this video and just chat with you guys. I felt like, number one, it would tell you a little bit more about me, right? You get to know me a little bit better. And hopefully it'll be, you know, encouraging as well as for some of my young Younger viewers out here and even not my younger viewers just anybody that's in college just to encourage you to you know persevere and keep on pushing you know be tenacious first off let's start with the title the title said that I dropped out of college this is true I do have my degree and I'm wondering if I should show you my picture I'll probably insert a picture somewhere in this video but I do have my bachelor's degree I do have an associate's degree but when I first graduated high school, I graduated at 17, went straight into college. I had student of the year in high school. Don't get me wrong. I wasn't always the best student ever. I just got my act together the last couple of years of high school and did really well. Ended up getting a scholarship, ended up going straight into college. It was actually a junior college because where I was, they didn't even have a university where I was. Okay. So I went to a junior college. Now, I, did, I was only 17, okay? And most of my friends were graduating the next year. So I totally went to college without people that were there that I knew, all right? Like I met a whole new group of people and you know, my family, like I don't come from a lineage of people graduating college. I'm just being real, keeping it all the way 100, okay? So I didn't really know about the whole ISBN numbers, like how to buy books. I didn't know, like I'm used to, you know, you gotta get to class, you know, the bell ring, it's time to go to the next class. The teacher's really concerned about you. You know, high school, you get what I'm saying? So when I went to college, it was like, nobody's making sure I get to class. Nobody is checking. I don't have to be there on time. I could do, you know what I mean? Like I didn't have the discipline. So what had happened was I was failing my classes. I had, I was going full time and I was totally, fa I don't even know if I'm gonna edit this video seriously, but we'll see. But I was going full time and I was failing all of my classes. So I don't even know how I got the bright idea to go talk to a counselor. I think I went to talk to a counselor because I had to talk to them about, you know, how to get the money from the scholarship or something. I'm not sure. And it was quite a while ago. Okay. I went to the counselor and the counselor told me, you are failing all of your classes. And I do not think that you will be able to, you know, turn it over or turn it around in the matter of time that you have, or I don't think you'll be able to turn it around with the length of time that you have before the semester's over. So she encouraged me to, or suggested that I go ahead and I withdraw all my classes with a W because if I didn't withdraw with a W, I was going to have all Fs and that transcript was going to follow me for the rest of my life. So I did do what she said. I withdrew from all of the classes. I got all W's, which all W's, if you guys don't know, W's are definitely better than a fail. It doesn't look good to see you having all these W's, but it totally looks better than F's and D's. Okay. And C's too in my book. Cause like, I, I just can't, I like to get A's and B's. But anyway, so dropped out of college, didn't end up going back to college until after I had mini me one. All right. Or we do mini me and mini, mini me. So I didn't go back to college till after I had mini me. So I enrolled in a junior college once again, but at this time I was like, I'm totally serious about it. Like I have a child now and you know what I'm saying? Like I, I just, you know, I have to have better for her. You know what I mean? I want better for her and I want to make sure that she's taken care of and you know, that I just do what I'm supposed to do and, and be a role model like as a mother, you know? So went to college and I actually got my associates in like two years. I think it was like two years and a couple months. I, oh, well, I'm not going to go into the years, but it was a couple of years and I got my associate's degree. I majored in business management, right? So there's this thing. And if you guys are in school, make sure that if you are going for your associate's degree and you want to transfer to a university to get your four-year degree, your bachelor's degree, make sure that you are taking your transferable college, transferable colleges, make sure that you're taking 
taking your transferable classes as well as your core classes to get that degree or certification or whatever it is you're seeking. Okay. Because let me tell you what happened to me. I let the counselor know that I was determined to get my degree. So I think that they were more focused on me getting my degree and walking than they were on me getting my degree and transferring to a university and finishing there. So I'm thinking everything is all good, right? Majoring in business management. I'm thinking everything is all great. Got my associate's degree happy. You know what I'm saying? Being a, a role model for my daughter, making progress. You know what I mean? Finally getting back on track. Cause I always wanted to, you know, go to college. I just kind of got sidetracked a little bit. So got my degree then, you know, ended up, you know, the family ended up getting bigger. I'll say that. And then I decided, you know what, by this time I'm working full time and all that. And it's just a whole bunch of going on, you know, married children, working full time, all that stuff. But I was like, Hey, I'm determined to finish my bachelor's. I'm determined to finish. Okay. So I transferred over to a university. Now, when I got to the university, I was not able to go full time like I was when I was at a JC or a junior college. So I was taking one class a semester y'all. But in my mind, I was like, it's better to take one than none. I'm one class closer to finishing by taking one class because I couldn't do more at that time. So then over time, I was able to take like two here, you know, one semester there, I'm taking one class, another semester, I'm taking two classes, going to school on Saturdays, doing whatever it took, you know what I mean? Making like some serious sacrifices. So I went to meet with a counselor one day. And when I went to meet with a counselor, like he was just not the best counselor ever. I'm just saying he was not the best at all. So I went to see this counselor, right? And so the counselor, he said that, you know, from looking at everything that I had, he's like, hold up, you didn't do poli sci, which is political science. And at that time I was majoring in business administration with concentration on human resources and management. Right. But what he told me, he's like, wait a minute, you didn't have poli sci, poli sci is political science. He's like, you haven't had biology. You haven't had a humanities course. You haven't had, um, you have had a Spanish course or a, uh, a foreign language. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't know I needed all this stuff. So what happened was it ended up being like six or seven classes that I needed. And I'm like, well, I'm not, take it at university level, right? I'm gonna take it at JC level and pay less. Okay. So the other thing he told me in that meeting, I, I, I kid you guys not like I wanted to give up. I wanted to quit. I wanted to throw in the towel. I was like, I'm done. He was so discouraging. He was like, and furthermore, you're going to school, like you're taking one class a semester here and there. You're taking two classes a semester. If you keep on at the rate you're going, you're not going to finish for a whole nother 10 years or so. I'm so serious, y'all. I was so defeated. I was so like, it was just, that wasn't a great day. And I went home to my husband and I was like, you know, I just feel like giving up. I just feel like quitting. Like I'm done. Like I just, I mean, it's going to take that long. I don't have that kind of time. I'm working full time. I got plans. I'm trying to do this, 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 that you get what I'm saying. And so I was like, I just feel like quitting, but thank the Lord that I did not give up because now I have a degree. I have my bachelor's degree. Okay. So I thank God that I did not give up. I thank God that those, you know, those words that he spoke to me didn't allow me to just stop. You know what I mean? And so I just want to tell you guys, like, you know, be encouraged and, and just stay, I, I almost said like, stay on the wall, but just, you know, keep going. If you have a goal or if you have a dream or you have a passion, just keep going. Don't let what people say in your ear affect you. Like if you know that you want to get something done and it is a desire that you have, just keep pushing. I don't care how long it takes. I don't know if you guys have ever heard that saying, but it says that, um, slow progress is better than no progress. So that is what I had to begin to tell myself. Well, a, at least if I'm taking one class is better than taking no classes. At least if I'm taking two classes better than taking none. So ultimately it took me like five years, even after I transferred. But the point is I have a degree now. I don't have to tell people that, oh, it took me like five years or it took me all the, like, I don't have to do all that. The point is I have my bachelor's degree and that's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? And if I do tell my story, people can appreciate it because they are, they can appreciate that I was diligent. They can appreciate that I was tenacious, that I was persistent. You understand what I'm saying? That, you know, that I stuck in there. And I, not only did I graduate with my degree and this is not like a boasting or anything like that. This is not that type of video. I'm just letting y'all know that whatever you put your mind to, you can totally do. Okay. Because not only did I graduate with my bachelor's, but I graduated cum laude. Lottie. All right. Cum laude is a big deal. 
especially to me. I had honors. So I graduated with honors. So I have my little honors thing on, you know what I mean? So yeah, like in the graduation book, it showed that I had honors. So I was stoked to be able to tell my kids, like I got honors and, you know, I'm walking the stage. I mean, like, that's a great, like, that's a great example. You know what I'm saying? For them to try to achieve certain things like that, or to, it gives them something to, to look forward to, or gives them something to go after, or lets them know that well, dang, if my mom did it, like, I mean, she did it, I can do it. You know what I mean? So it was totally great. So I got to walk the stage again, part two. So anyway, this whole video is just about, I don't know if it's like, if it's school or if it's a business or if it's starting a YouTube channel or whatever it is that you desire to do or that's in your heart to do, just don't let anybody talk you out of it. Okay. Because that, no, don't let anybody talk you out of it. You stay focused. Don't focus on the things that they're saying. If you have friends that are kind of, you know, talking you out of stuff or talking negative and stuff like that, just remove yourself and stay focused. Because when you begin to look at other things, you actually lose, you like lose your focus on the target. Okay. You kind of get, you get distracted. And then when you get distracted, it's easy to get thrown off. Okay. So, you know, uh, trust me, been there, done that, started focusing on other things like, like that counselor. And I was like, forget it. Like what, what was I thinking? Like, how, why did I even think I could do this? Um, you don't control my life. Um, this is a desire that I have. I don't care how long it takes as long as I do it. Right. Cause in the end, all that matters is that I did it right. Even if it takes you 10 years to have a successful business, does it matter that it took you 10 years to have a successful business or does it matter that you have a successful business? Just saying. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I don't know if I will ever do another story time. I don't know. This is just something that was on my heart to do. So I figured, let me just come on here and do this because yeah, I don't know why. Maybe somebody need to hear that. I don't know. But I just want you guys to be encouraged. I want you guys to know that you can do whatever you put your mind to. I don't care what people say. I don't care what people in your family never accomplished. Why don't you be the first one? Just go for it. Like you can do it. You can do whatever you put your mind to. I remember um, a preacher told me one time, he said, you got to see it before you see it. So you have to vision it. Like you have to just, you know, kind of meditate on that thing, right? See it. And then you will see it if you just stay focused. All right. So that's it, y'all. I don't know what else to say. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I was talking to many me about it. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna share that. I feel like I should share that. I don't even want to say if you guys want more story times, let me know because I don't even know if I'm going to do one. I hope you guys feel a little closer, like you know me a little bit more because after all, we are family. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all of your support. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because we have fun up over here and we keep it all the way real, all the way real. All right, so that is it. You guys have an awesome, blessed day and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, Seeky Beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies. You know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games. It's the Seeky Beauty. Yeah, Seeky Beauty.